This is Javier Flores with Keller Williams Realty. Here's Bob Brenner with Guild Mortgage on this week's Mortgage Market Update. Hi, Bob Brenner, Certified Mortgage Planning Specialist, Guild Mortgage, with this week's weekly mortgage rate wrap-up. Anyways, rates have improved a little bit this week, uh, in large part because the stock market has been selling off uh, considerably, and uh, we've had a flight to quality. Also, there's uh, obviously international issues still remaining with Ukraine and China and so on and so forth. All good news for the bond market, despite uh, positive economic reports that uh, in a normal market would cause rates to move up. But we've had an improvement. Standard 30-year fixed rate loans are in the uh, mid four and a half range, depending upon your credit score. Uh, government loans are about four and a quarter percent. These are all at zero points, by the way. The high balance and jumbo loans uh, ranging anywhere between four and a half to four and three quarters percent. Will that continue? Who knows? Uh, if the stock market rebounds next week, if the international concerns uh, dissipate, we're going to see rates probably uh, worsen slightly. Again, as I said last week, no one's anticipating that rates are going to be skyrocketing anytime soon. Let's go to the charts here real quick and give you an overview. Well, it's been an eventful week in the bond market and specifically in the mortgage-backed security market. As you can see here, uh, as prices have improved, everything's in green. Uh, rates have declined or uh, pricing has improved as well in terms of cost of getting a loan or both. Uh, standard 30-year fixed rate conventional loans are in around the 4.5, 4.38 range at 0%, or 0 points. Uh, VA and FHA loans are in the low fours, four and a quarter percent at zero points or better, and uh, jumbo and high balance loans are in around four and a half to four and three quarters percent again at zero points. We've seen a lot of new uh, interest in uh, checking out the uh, seven and ten year loans. Reason being is uh, they're below four percent, and if you're going to be in the house shorter than seven years, the national average for home ownership, by the way, is seven years or less. Uh, it's something to consider. Uh, clearly, uh, you can. Still get rates, as I said, below 4% at zero points uh, with those types of products. So what we've had here today, as I said, uh, or this week, is uh, an improving bond market, largely as a result of uh, international concerns with still Ukraine and uh, Chinese economy. So money's been moving out of uh, from overseas and into the bond market, as well as some sell-offs this week in the equity market. Stock market has, has sold off a number of times this week. So. Money is poured out of those markets and into the bond market, specifically mortgage-backed securities, and it's helped the rate picture improve. So um, what's on the plate for next week? Well, again, if the stock market improves, we're going to see things correct. Uh, I don't know if it'll be as bad as this, but uh, we will see rates uh, creep up a little bit and the cost for getting a loan increase you know, slightly. Again, no one's anticipating rates to be skyrocketing anytime soon, but... It's, I think, reasonable to expect uh, by the end of this month, uh, what was at 4.5% today uh, is going to be about 4 and 3 quarters percent. Reason being is there's still very strong economic reports coming in that uh, despite the uh, lingering international concerns would suggest that rates should be moving up. For example, uh, the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report was released today. Uh, it had uh, a little bit of effect on the market, but it came in much stronger than anticipated. Also, the producer price index, that's the, the, the cost of goods if you're a, a business, uh, business to business uh, situations, though, that's increased a lot. In fact, so much so that it is, if it is uh, unadjusted, it is inflationary. So we're going to see rates creep up again over the, the, the coming weeks and months to come. So anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 805-427-3538 or shoot me an email at bbrenner at guildmortgage.net. Look forward to hearing from you. Make it a great weekend and uh, talk to you next week.